Hey what's up guys welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this video we will be working on getting the median. Okay so in the previous video I'll leave a link down in the description we got the mean. Now we want to get the median and display it into our UI. So we want to click this button get the mean from this random numbers that we generated. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing we want to do is create a public function once again. So we're going to say public void and we're going to call this get median. So how do we get the median? If you have a odd set of numbers, we divide by two and then we round up and that is the position of the median. But if we have a even set of numbers, we divide by two, then we average that number with the number next to that so if we have if we had a set of even numbers uh, let's look at a set of six numbers so two five eight six four and nine so what we would do is we would say six divided by two which is equal to three okay so we'll go to the third position which is eight we would then add it with 6 and so we'd say 8 plus 6 which is now equal to 14 and then we would divide that by 2 because we want to average that out so we'd say 14 divided by 2 which is now equal to 7 and this would be our median and if we had a set of odd numbers, so we'll use the same set, we'll say 5, 2, 5, 8, 6, 4, 9, and we'll take one more number, 3. Okay, so we would need to say 7, space that out, so we'll say 7 divided by 2, which is equal to 3.5 then we need to round this value up okay so if we round this value up we'll get four so we need to go to the fourth position that's one two three and four awesome so this would be our median cool so by understanding this we can get started with our coding i'll just remove that okay so we know that we're going to have two arguments or two sets of conditions that 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 we need to figure out how to code one is when we have even set of numbers and the other is when we have odd set of numbers so we can start off with an if statement okay so a simple if statement to say that so the first thing we want to do is check whether our set of numbers is even or odd so how we can do that is we'll say if our random numbers list dot count modulus Two, okay so this modulus sign means that when I divide this number by 2 it will return the remainder of that so if I divide 10 by 2 the answer is 5 with no remainder but if I divide 11 by 2 the answer would be 5.5 and it will return that remainder so I can do a check based on this and I can say if the random number list dot count which is the number of values in my list modulus 2 is not equal to 0 then I want to do something that means if this list is odd okay so if this list is, list is odd then I want to do something else I want to do something else so when this list is even I want to do something else so let's take care of the odd part so we said we need to when it's an odd number we need to divide by 2 we need to round up to the nearest whole number and then we need to get the median the first step would be to divide our total numbers in the list by 2 so let's do that first so we'll create a double called median position and this will be for odd okay because we're working in the odd section of this and we'll say let's put it in brackets we'll say the random number list dot count because we want to get the numbers number of values in that list divided by two okay so now 
this is getting the position of the middle number okay I'm just gonna make some comments so you guys can understand maybe in more depth uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to round that number up to the nearest whole number so let's do that so we can create another variable called median rounded position and again it's for the odd and then we can say mat.round and we can pass in this variable now remember this is only the position that we're working with not the actual value as yet okay so in this in this list or an, in an array we have positions so it starts from starts from 0 1 2 3 4 and that number is associated with values and the values could be 64 2 5 and 8 so and one more value we'll say 9 so remember our numbers are starting 64 2 4 8 and 9 but our array indexes start from zero so we have to take that into consideration when we're moving forward okay i'll just leave that there so what we want to round we want to round this median position odd so we'll just pass that in through there okay cool so now what we did we got the number of values from the list we divided it by two we got the middle number then we rounded the middle number to the nearest whole number and we rounded up Okay, so we'll say round it up okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to convert this um, rounded number into an integer because when we're passing indexes through we want to pass it as an integer okay so we can do that by creating a int median there are probably better ways of doing this but I just want to do it in steps just to show you guys um, and make more sense of it so we can say median int position and again we're working with the odd area and then we can say convert to int 32 and we can just pass in the value which is the median rounded position odd and we can just pass that through there okay and then we can just close that off so here we can say we convert it to int Okay, the next thing we want to do is get the value of this uh, position or of this index okay so of this index now we want to get the value so if I would say uh, of this index 3 I now want to get the value that's in this position which is 4 so if I say index 4 the value of this position will be 9 okay so let's do that now Okay, now say remember that all our values in our list is all integers so I can now say int median value is equal to and I can say a random list and I can now pass in this index to get the value and our index is this so we can say median int position value odd okay now that I have the value, I want to now display the value, okay? So how we display it, first we need a text mesh holder. So we go all the way up here, we can create a public text mesh pro. So we'll say public text mesh pro UGUI. And we can name this uh, median number holder. We go all the way down and now we can display this. So we can say median num holder dot text to access the text component and then now we can just pass in the median value and we need to convert it to a string in order for it to be displayed on screen okay cool we now took care of when we have a odd set of numbers so let's take care of the even set of numbers now when it's even we said take the number of values in that list we need to divide by two then we need to take one value above that add those two numbers up and divide by two so average that out and that's how we get the median 
So let's do that quickly. So we'll say double median position and we're working with the even part. We'll say it's equal to the random number list divide by 2. Cool, sorry, random number list dot count because we want to get the number of values in the list and this is to get the middle position once again. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we need to get that middle position plus one. So remember how I explained it on top. We need to get the middle position if it's a set of even numbers. 64, 2, 5, 8, 9, 8, and 4. If it's an even set, we need to get the middle position. So what we're going to do is so we're going to say 6 divided by 2. Okay, that's equal to 3, which is this value, 5. Then we need to go one value up, which is 9. We need to add these two values and divide by 2 to get the average. Okay, so we'll say 5 plus 9, which is 14. Then, then we're going to say, 14 divided by 2 which is equal to 7 which is our average and that would be our median cool so let's just take that out so then we're going to say double median value because now we're going to get the value so before we move forward let's remember one thing our indexes start from 0 so we're going to say 0 1 two three four okay let's leave it at four so if our values that are stored in those elements are um, five four eight nine and six okay so for index zero the value is five for index one the value is four and so on if i had to divide this okay let's do one more just to make it even uh, let's do 7. Okay, so if, if I had to divide this, I would get 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3. I would get position 3, okay? Now, if I go into my numbers and I look for position 3, I would say 1, 2, 3, and my value would be 8, okay? But now, remember, our indexes start from 0. So if I had to count in my indexes and I say 1, this is not a 3. So this is not index number 3. It's actually index number 2 because our indexes start from 0. So what we need to actually do is minus 1 from this index. So when we get the position, we need to minus 1 just to compensate for that. So we can just put this into curly. One more curly braces here one more there and then we can just minus one okay so that would get the correct position so now we can get our middle value take the value above that add those two and then divide that by two to get our average so we can just call this median value average and we're gonna say random number list and we're gonna pass in this median position so we'll say median position even plus the next number, the one that's above that. So we're going to say random number list and we're going to pass in median position even plus one because we want to get the next value as well. And then we need to divide everything by two. So we're going to divide everything by 2.0. Now, obviously, this is not best practice. You need to probably um, create a const right at the top and put those values in there but for the purposes of this tutorial uh, it should be fine and let's close that off we need one more bracket here so before we move on it's giving me a squiggly here because I should have made this int because as I said our indexes are ints and not doubles so let's change that quickly okay so that takes care of that and one more square bracket there okay perfect now what we want to do is we need to round this value up so that if we get a value just say um, 63 63 plus 46 okay that is equal to 
109. And if we divide that by 2, we're going to get, so the next step would be to take 109 divided by 2, which is equal to 54.5. Now, we don't want to display 54.5, we want to display 55, because we need to round up. Okay, so let's do that quickly. So we can say median value, median value average, is equal to math.ceiling to round up. And we can pass in the median value, that's median position value, and close that off. So the last thing we want to do now is obviously display this um, median onto the screen or onto the GUI. So we can say this, so we'll use the same text holder because we want to display it in the same place. So we can say median num holder dot text is equal to median underscore value average dot to string and that should be it so let's head over to unity and hook everything up drag and drop in so we'll drag that in there let's run this again okay so now everything should work we generate our 10 random numbers and we can get the median so if we do the calculation quickly we can say okay this is 10 numbers my middle number would be 44 and 38 Okay, so if I add this 2 and divide it by 2, I should get 41. So let's do that quickly. So I can say 44 plus 38 is equal to 82 divided by 2, which is equal to 41. And that is spot on. So in the next video, we will be working on getting the highest number and getting the lowest number. Okay, so I'll see you there.